Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. It's your good sis Stasia here. And for today's video, as y'all can see by the thumbnail and the title, I am going to be doing an Amazon skincare, body care haul. Um, I did spend around $200, literally a little over $200, um, which it may be a little bit OD for some people, but technically it's really not because... You get what you pay for. All of, the, all of the items that I'm going to be reviewing today, I'm out of breath, first of all. I don't know if it's because I haven't recorded in a while or if it's because I'm chubby, okay? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so like I said, all of these products are great quality, so you get what you pay for. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump straight into this haul. This is... My God. Okay, so anyway, y'all, I ain't even going to try to lift up the box anymore. Starting out with my first product, I'm going to just try to... I'm not going to review anything in no specific order, but I am going to try to be somewhat organized. I did get a six-pack of Colgate toothbrushes. You can never have enough toothbrushes, I think. But yeah, so the next thing I have, y'all, is this. It says wash towel, but that's not what this is, okay? This is like a back exfoliator. A loofah. That's exactly what it is, okay? So, I already have one of these in gray, but I decided to purchase this again in this, like, cream beige color. I feel like it won't hurt to have them. I like to have multiples of things that I love, okay? So, that's why I picked up another one of these. can never go wrong with it. I love, love, love these more than the the one with the handle on it you can scrub. First of all, that cannot go in your wash machine. So that's why when a lot of people say, oh, loofahs are nasty, they hold bacteria. I'm sorry, sis, not my loofahs because they go in the wash machine, okay? It has these two handles on the end, um, like these rope things, and you literally just sway it back and forth, swish it, up and down your back. The same motion you would do when you drying your back off of the towel. Like I said, I do have a gray one. Now, as y'all can see, this gray one is not the same vendor or whatever you want to call it. Like, this thing looks flat. I don't know if it's because it was in a pack. I don't remember if this one looked like that, but I doubt it because look how fluffy and pretty this is, y'all. Look at... This is not even the same. Like, I feel like Amazon tried to play me out. Okay, y'all, so the next thing I have right here are these wax beads. This is by the brand Serapil. Serapil? I don't, I don't even know. Okay, absolutely not. I do not recommend this if you have coarse hair like myself. I found myself continuously going over the same areas multiple times, and that's just like a huge no-no, right? But luckily, I did find a brand that I absolutely love. It's called Kalua Wax. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it is what it is. I will have that on the screen. Now, it's also sold on Amazon. It's hard wax beads for smooth hair removal, formulated for coarse hair. I absolutely love it, okay? Um... I'll give this a 9 out of 10. Next best thing to go into the actual spot. All right, so that was it for like my little miscellaneous pieces and everything. Next, we're going to be moving into the body washes and so on and so forth. This right here is by the brand OGX, I believe. Yeah, this is the Hydration Plus. It has sea kelp and hyaluronic acid inside of it. I love these body washes right here, y'all, because they automatically come with like the exfoliant beads in it. And it's like... Who doesn't love to exfoliate? Um, this was my first time seeing this scent. I haven't seen this one right here in the stores. And it just was green. And I'm like, it must smell good if it's green. I know that's like a weird theory. But it smells good, sis. Okay? So, <laughs> judge not. All right? Uh, this smells really good to me. Like, it's not fruity at all. It smells real it's kind of, it kind of smells beachy in a sense only thing is i like to have lotions body lotions with my body washes so like something i could pair it with so i'm not sure exactly what i will pair this with but um i'm sure i'll figure it out all right y'all so next we have this the infamous dr Bronner's peppermint soap um I love this soap right here. I can't say anything negative about it. You can literally use this to power wash your house and to wash your ass. Okay, so <laughs> it's like, girl, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it, okay, except for I love it. Um, and I was joking about the booty part. You, you, you can wash the backside, but don't ever put this stuff down here in your kitty, okay? But I, ha I have a video coming real soon 
you know, how to take care of her down there. But I just wanted to throw that out there as a disclaimer. Don't take me serious when I said you can wash your ass. I meant your ass, you know what I mean? But I do love it, though. You're talking about squeaky clean when you get out the tub. But I do dilute this, though. I don't use that, like, I don't use it. To me, it's too harsh. Do not just go in for the kill and just use that. You know what I mean? Dilute it with some Dove, like some, um, the unscented Dove. That's what I do. So, next, 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 we have this Neutrogena body oil. Um, it says light sesame formula, a sheer moisturizing experience. This is 16 fluid ounces. I have a lot of body oils, but I've never tried this one right here from Neutrogena. So, I did want to try this. It's just regular body oil. I don't know how it smells, though. Um, I'm sure it probably doesn't really have a scent. No, it just smells clean, like, you know. Okay, so next we have this body wash right here, and it is by the brand Hemp's, which is H-E-M-P-Z. If you guys haven't heard about this brand before, it is, like, amazing, okay? It is, like... It is slightly pricey, but this is what I was talking about when I said you get what you pay for, okay? It just, it locks in moisture. Now, it may not do the same for everybody. Everybody has a different skin type, so um, I don't have dry skin, so it doesn't take much to moisturize my skin. Now, this one right here is the Coconut Fusion. It was a blonde bar. I didn't know how it smelled, but I love coconut, okay? I don't like to eat coconut, but I love the smell of coconut. Oh, oh my God. <sighs> Y'all, I'm so, oh my God, this smells so good. I'm so excited. Oh my God. I'm so happy. Y'all, I'll be so happy when I buy stuff. Like, it, when is a blonde buy and you buy stuff and it turns out great, like better than what you expected? I cannot wait to use this. Oh my God. So I did get the, um, this is the same scent, the Coconut Fusion. This is like a body souffle or whatever. They, that's what they have on here. And it's shimmering also. So it has little shimmer flakes in here. This is a little messy a little bit. I don't like when my stuff be messy. Like, I don't like when my stuff come like that at all. Y'all, this smells so good. And I normally don't go for stuff that have, like, little shimmer in it, but I felt like, what the heck? It's a new scent. Let me try it. It's coconut, girl. Let me put a little bit. Oh, yeah, because I ain't even tell y'all, like, the consistency. Y'all, this is thick. Look. It's thick. See, it's not coming out. And I love that about, um, I love that about this. Let me see. Oh my God, girl, this smells so good. This smells so good. Like, okay, so we're still in the hemp's family, y'all. This right here is the blushing grapefruit and raspberry cream. Um, this I haven't tried this scent either, y'all. I'm trying to open this. I should have got my dad on scissors. Yeah, this is grapefruit and raspberry so that sounds really good and i'm just like i gotta try it it smells good but it's not it's nothing compared to that coconut or the ones i've already owned it's just not giving what it could have gave i say that it's not it's definitely not giving what it could have gave it's not all that but it's okay and i did get the body wash as well as the lotion let me see Yeah, it's okay. Okay, y'all, so next I have this exotic green tea and Asian pear. Now, I already own this. Um, I should get up and show y'all my other bottle where it's at. So anyway, yeah, as y'all can see, I am almost out of it, okay? This smells really good, and I'm not just saying it, obviously. That's why I went and got the bottle so y'all can see, like, yeah, that must really sense, okay? The name alone, exotic green tea and Asian pear. Like, this just, and then my bottle was dented right here a little bit. I, I don't know about y'all, but I don't like stuff like that. I don't like, I don't like for my stuff to be crinkled. I don't like for my stuff to have dents in it. I'm the type of shopper, I never get the first thing on the shelf. I got to move those out the way and get one from the back. I'm very picky, okay? So, 
y'all it's just this smells so good and you know what it smells even better when you mix it with um baby oil gel and the only thing I don't like is the fact that they don't have the body wash in this and I don't know why I don't know if people don't gravitate towards this fragrance this scent a lot but people are crazy well I ain't even gonna say that don't buy it it's fine more for me okay y'all one more thing that I just thought about when it comes to these hemp's lotions now although they are great they are on the thinner side so if you have dry skin you just have to mix it with like some oil gel I love to mix mine with the baby oil gel now I do not have dry skin at all but I love the consistency when I mix them together the fragrance lasts longer when you mix stuff with oil anyway um so that's just dropping gems on y'all okay if you did not know that you especially if you layer it with some perfume that perfume will get locked into that oil and you will smell great all day last but definitely not least for the hemp's brand we have this is my favorite the fresh coconut and watermelon y'all this smells amazing this was actually the first scent i ever purchased from hemp's um i smelled this year a few years ago and i've been hooked ever since this one right here since will have you like yo i gotta get my oh my god <sighs> this now i'm not gonna hold you i have like three bottles of this in my room okay just they all half empty okay <laughs> but i figured if i'm buying something from amazon body care i'm definitely gonna buy another bottle of this and i always make sure i get the body wash because they do have the body wash that go with this one i have a bottle of this in my shower right now all right and then i also picked up the body scrub um sugar scrub whatever you want to call it i haven't tried these yet I don't think they have too many. I want to open it just to see the consistency of these. Y'all know how some body scrubs are. It's not a tree hut, okay? <laughs> if you're familiar with tree hut products, tree hut um, sugar scrubs, then you know. This is definitely not a tree hut, but it is a light exfoliant for someone with um, maybe sensitive skin. Now, like I told y'all, I love this brand, so I do have... Um, this is another one of the coconuts. I do have a few other fragrances as well. This one is the Milk and Honey. These obviously didn't come with this haul right here, but I'm just showing y'all the different options. They have Milk and Honey. This smells like fresh baked cookies. Definitely wintertime vibes, okay, or fall vibes. I have the Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon. Smells great also. And then I have the pomegranate. I do have the body washes for all of these. All right. So speaking of Tree Hut, I did pick up one of these Tree Hut's um, Shea Body Butter. Now, I do own a couple other body butters, but I do not have this scent right here. This is the Moroccan Argan Oil. You water Moroccan Rose. This is definitely one of my favorite Tree Hut scents. Like, if you have never smelt the Moroccan Rose, please get your hands on it. It just smells real good. I feel like it's all seasons. I mean, you can wear this winter, spring, summer, fall. Um, the body butters are very thick. So as you can see, like, it's not even budging at all, which I love. So like I said, if you have dry skin, these will be perfect for you. If you have really, really dry skin, you can go with something light like this. Like literally a body oil in one of these. And girl... If you still dry after that, I don't know what to tell you. But the consistency of these is like, it's literally like butter. Oh, it just smells and feels really good. I do have the sugar scrub for this. So that's how I smell. Um, That's how I fell in love with this fragrance right here. Y'all, the last thing I picked up is this um body lotion right here unfortunately victoria's secret i don't know if they discontinued the lotion which is crazy because they still have the body mist i used to work at victoria's secret i probably back in 2013 i was there for a while and aqua kiss that's when i fell in love with aqua kiss this was definitely one of my definitely my favorite old time favorite scents from victoria's secret yeah with these right here you know it's not expensive at all. It's just literally body mist. So I literally layer it like that with the lotion and then the mist. And it does smell. All right, sis. So that's everything that I have today for this haul. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please do not forget to like, comment, and definitely subscribe. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.